Welcome to the Santorini vlog. I actually have to be a bit quiet because Max is asleep right here. Like fast asleep. I don't know if you'll let me put this clip in, but he is conked out. So I've got ready. It's still the morning time. This is actually the second day of being here, but I didn't film the first day because after all the travel, I mean, it's not long to travel here, but it's still tiring. We just wanted to chill out and I just wanted to enjoy it, enjoy the hotel. Um, I actually filmed the hotel when I got in here just so you could see it all like pristine because at the minute it's a little bit of a mess um so i'm gonna set that down okay so this is our little hotel room insane i love it this is the bathroom area shower here the toilet's just in here and then look at this the bed's right there such a good use of space wardrobe big wardrobe which i needed this little area seating and then my favorite part you come out the doors and there's our very own plunge pool how insane and beautiful views. I cannot wait to jump in there. And we're staying in quite a quiet area, which I love. Like, it's just so me. We're staying in like quite a private hotel. And then we just venture out into like the busier areas, which suits me so well. Can you please moisturize my legs? <laughs> okay, it's Yasmin. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Outfit change because we're just going to walk into the village to get lunch. Um, but I've just chucked this on over my bikini. It's just a cute two piece. Also, look how cute these are. I mean, they don't look good with this hairstyle, nothing does, but these are from Primark. Okay, so apparently I wasn't very good at vlogging the first few days because this was a relaxation holiday and we needed a couple of days to recuperate. Um, we just chilled by the pool after we went out for lunch and explored the village a little bit. But I promise you the vlog gets more exciting and we do more things later on. But yeah, on to the evening time. I'm so sorry, I literally did not vlog. <laughs> So sorry, I forgot to vlog getting ready, but you'll see my outfit on Instagram or I'll insert something, but I literally am obsessed. And I'm so excited because tonight we're going to a really nice restaurant, apparently, I've never been, which has really amazing like sunset views. So I thought I'd mention that we hired a car because that's what everyone says to do, either like a quad bike or what are they called? Yeah, quad, yeah, quad bikes or a car and I, there's no way in hell I'm getting on a quad bike if you know me you know I shit myself on things like that I don't know why um so yeah we hired a car and it's the best decision ever because oh wow, wait let me turn it around on your left oh you can't really see on oh my god that is so beautiful it's so hard to show on camera though but yeah if I had two tips for Santorini it would be stay in the quieter areas and travel in and get a car so then you don't have to rely on like public transport, taxis and things, you know? Best oh, decisions. So with all the big coaches coming past now, there's, like on little yeah, there's roads. so many massive coaches that like zoom past you and the roads are tiny and we're in this small car like, hello. Oh my God, we found a spot. It was so anxiety inducing with how busy it is and how tight the roads are, but we did it, yay. Okay, so I have a restaurant recommendation for you guys. This restaurant we went to is called Pac-Man. It's in Ia, the interiors were stunning. The sunset views were incredible, never seen anything like it. There's also a pool if you wanna book during the daytime. We had to get a little sunset video, cute. But normally places like this don't really bother with the food quality because you pay for the view, but the food here was 10 out of 10. Max got steak, I got sushi, and then we got little mocky balls for dessert. And this is our cute little romantic walk back. Just pulled up at the petrol. Actually, no, okay, right. Basically, we're just driving along the roads, the narrow roads, and it's pitch black, and I already have bad road anxiety, so you can imagine. And then we're just panicking, lights flashing that we need petrol. Go the wrong way, end up down a one-way system. Uh, it's very scary. Yeah, that's um, what the woman said. She said, "Be careful of maps." Yeah, the maps. Because the really maps were telling us to go up the uh, up the road, and then it was a one way. Anyway, we made it to the petrol station. We pull up. You don't have to get out of the car. They come to the door with the car machine, and they clean your windscreen. Then they just go gift, and gave us a pot of ice cream, 
I was like, thank you. I don't know if this is normal here, but cheers, lads. Cheers. Good morning. Today we've woken up more tired. But breakfast is here. <laughs> so we're gonna eat! Yay! We've got Salah. <laughs> we've got eggs. Eggs. Cereal. What is this? Oh, the sweet treat. It's like a little cheesecake. Fruit. Oh, the juices are just the best. Like freshly squeezed juices. We've got peach, pineapple, peach, oh, pineapple, orange juice. orange juice. And then all the pastries. I'm happy. What have we got? Oh, and yogurt. Cute. Morning. So today we're going into Ia, which is like the main place people go when they come to Santorini. So obviously I'm going to be vlogging. Um, yeah, this is my outfit. I don't know if you can see, but it's cute. It is cute, isn't it? I put glasses on with this and I literally look like Johnny Depp. I'm not even joking, let me actually show you. That is Johnny Depp. I can't put it on my ears, but Johnny Depp. Have to spray with the Mojave Ghost. Before, this has been my holiday summer scent. I love it so much. Oh, and yesterday we went on do you mind? Yesterday we went on the best little like yacht cruise. I mean, it's a catamaran. I don't know what the difference is, but it was the best day ever. We met so many nice people. I'll insert the little cruise footage now. So this was us on the way to the little cruise. That was my outfit, loved it. This was the boat that we got on. It was so nice, spacious. There wasn't too many people that joined us. It was a nice small group. We had the best day. The weather was a joke. Max looks a joke and this was us jumping in the sea it was actually quite cold still um but so worth it we just like sunbathed drank chatted to everyone got to know everyone it was just such a great day 10 out of 10. i was outside for not even that long with a bando bikini on whoa whoa i can't see anything and yeah look you can really see it in the dark but oh my god i have to get rid of it but now i'm scared to like tan this bit more so i don't know what to do really Let's go. Have you got the keys? Phone, wallet. Yeah. Perfect. The situation every day. Massive coaches trying to get through these tiny roads. This is our little village. Cute like restaurants all along here. Our favorite one is down here. I tried octopus for the first time because I've always refused to eat it and it was so good. That's the restaurant. What's it called? Cantuni or something. So one night we stopped off at this one just for like a quick dinner because we left it late and I wasn't feeling very well. And it was the best food and it was such a casual little place. And I had a, a lemon risotto, not thinking much of it. Oh my God, best thing ever. I just feel like everywhere here the food is good, to be honest. Not had one bad meal. Put Aber on. Also, this is the company we used to rent our car. They were so helpful. They gave us this map. The woman literally talked through everything, like where we should go. It was so card. good. But bring your credit card for the other ones because they don't let you rent a car without a credit card. You have to put down a deposit on a credit card, not a debit card. And that's the mistake we made. So we had to go to these people, but I'm glad we did. And I love this car. It's a joke. It's so I good. Think I'm buy a smart car. <laughs> we finally parked, and this is our view. How insane, but that took a little while to get a spot, which we expected, but you know. So we took a stroll around Ia and it's exactly how I pictured it. Very touristy and busy, but the views were breathtaking. Like honestly, I was living my best Mamma Mia life. I absolutely loved it. Everywhere you looked, it's just immaculate, like beautiful. Um, we stopped off at a little restaurant here. I think it was called Castro. Um, which had the most amazing view and we had seafood and pasta and it was quite expensive but honestly worth it for the setting oh my god i really want a little bracelet there's so many to choose from i got these bracelets how cute 
Okay, so we're back home now. Honestly, had such a good day. Loved Ia. Very busy and very touristy, which is why I'm really glad we stayed outside. Like, we stayed lower down on the island in Pyrgos, so best decision ever, but it's so nice to, like, travel in and be in and amongst it. But it's honestly one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my life, like, not an exaggeration. We actually stopped off at, um, what was it called? Canada to you. We stopped off there and it's the most beautiful, like, poolside, um... <laughs> Why am I so bad at explaining things? It's like restaurant, bar, pool, beds, you know? So we stopped off there and it was so gorgeous. But now we're back in the hotel and we're gonna sit by the pool. So it's really a day of pools. <laughs> Okay, so a bit of context. Me and Max had been practicing to do the Dirty Dancing famous lift in the pool for weeks before our holiday. We were on the living room floor practicing how to do this lift in the pool so we could be like the movie, right? Are you ready for the big moment? So, okay. Nailed it. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. New day. I'm a cowgirl today. I love it. We are going to the beach there's a few beaches but we're told this was the nicest one they don't really have like sandy beaches here like they do in the rest of greece um but i'm not bothered because i don't really like sand so but first i'm gonna go eat these cheesecakes outside what do you want to be first? the spoons and the um the juice please i'm just gonna plonk myself here So we've arrived at Kabari Beach, we've just parked up, we're going to go have a wander, Max isn't a fan of it so far. Just a shitty beach. I mean it's not shitty. Right, I've gone for this chicken, pita bread, salad, got bread in here of course, Max has gone for mussels, but here's the news. Cute. We just come to a really casual like beach bar restaurant kind of thing. There's loads down there. Oh my god! Hello, darling. Oh hello. Oh, he's settled there. Or she? I don't know. So the beach was nice, it wasn't too busy. You get a free sunbed if you order from one of the restaurants. So that was nice, didn't have to pay for that. And stunning views. I actually really liked it. Max wasn't a fan. Look at the actual state of me. We've got back from the beach and we just need a bit more sun. But I just need a bit more of a tan. So we sat out by the pool. My scalp hurts because I've just had, like I've worn my hair one way the whole time. And my scalp's just been exposed, so I'm covering it up. Okay, change of plan, we've got ready. We had like a bit of a pool day after the beach and now, actually my thing looks a lot better. Um, which is good. Now I've got ready and we're gonna head into Fira. Is it Fira or Fira? Because I've, I've seen both and I don't know if they're different places, but we're going to a restaurant that I actually saw on TikTok. So I'm gonna see how good it is. It's got like sunset views, but we are literally gonna run late. No, and I'm no. waiting for Max, so. We will run late if you don't need those photos. Uh, I don't, I'm not getting any photos. We'll do it there. I sacrificed a content shoot so we can make it on time. Um, but yeah, let's go. Cause you know what so much to... We're getting close. So we're on the way to the restaurant here and the most insane views, of course. We actually went to Vulcan on the Rocks. This is it, it's really cute. It's quite a small restaurant with a really small menu, more like picky bits. You'll see like tuna, this pie thing, and then vine leaves, insane, like such traditional food. How good does she look? Stunning. What a genie. Okay, and then we just went out into the town because it's the capital. It's always busy and always something to do and a fun place to go for drinks. Good morning. I literally will never get sick of this view. I love it so much. Let's go to the beach. Beach. We're not going to the beach. Away. We're going to Thera. Thera. Um, to have a little There's walk no around, around the, beach, around the around capital. Here, no, it's not a beach holiday. It's very much a poolside and views holiday, which I'm more than happy with. Um, but yeah, it's a glorious day yet again in Santorini. And yeah, our plans are just to do a little shopping. Oh my God, 
the boutiques here are insane. I want to buy everything. So we're here. We're just walking like into the center through these little like alleyways and it's just so cute. Literally just what you picture when you think of a Euro summer, like just the quaint little houses, alleys. There's loads of little cats around and it makes me want to cry because I love them so much. Like they look happy and fed and clean. But I just want to keep them all. Tiramisu, absolutely. This is where we're sat with our ice creams. I got Snickers, coconut, and tiramisu, which is my dream combo. Max, that black one there is what lava. was it? Lava. Actually, genuine but, lava. From <laughs> it's coconut. Oh my, it's dark coconut. It's the best ice cream I've actually tasted. If anyone needs a holiday necklace, this catches people. Oh. Wow. Oh my God, this necklace catches people's eye. Someone came up to me and was like, where's your necklace from? Did you buy it from here? It's Astrid and me. Oh, they just have the cutest little crochet sets and dresses. So cute, so hard not to buy anything to be honest. So yeah, I spent a while looking around the boutiques. I could honestly do this all day. I love it so much and there's so many things I wanted to buy, but I didn't. I'm proud of myself. Then we went on the cable cars. This is so worth doing because it's only six euros each way. We went down and then spent a few minutes at the bottom. There's not much there apart from a few restaurants and then came back up again. He has quite a bad phobia of heights, which is ironic considering you're six foot four. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna miss this. And we made it to the other side. So good. Like everything here. Well. Let's go get a drink or something. Well done. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. Food is served, come for just a little snack. We haven't got traditional just for lunch because we've pretty much eaten traditional food the whole time. Like local traditional food. Just wanted a sandwich. A little smart car, I love it. We're just back, we're gonna head back to the hotel. Good, this has been such a good holiday. Hasn't it just? It has. Which camera do I look at? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh my, <laughs> my best mate. Yeah, we're just gonna go outside our hotel room. I'll show you around a little bit and I'm gonna shoot some outfit pictures in this. So that's fun. If you ever stay here, this is the one we stayed in. Should we do it here? Because then there's like all the houses in the background, plain. I'm in quite a plain outfit. Honestly, just keeping this in as a moment of appreciation for my Instagram boyfriend. He is so good. Oh, He's the sick. best hype man and he just gets it now. I love it. I didn't end up liking those photos though, so we retried on a different day in a different outfit, which you'll see on my Instagram. Okay, oh my God, my skin looks incredible in this light. We just got ready because we're going out. We're gonna go to Five Senses. It's sun kissed, aren't you? Oh, mate, I've got like a little blister. I always think I don't use sun cream and I'm like, I won't get that. Yes, skin burns. But yeah, we're going to okay. Five Senses. Um, which I don't know if it's vegan or not because it says it is, but then like I looked at the pictures of the food and there was oh, oh, the really and there was meat. Menu, yeah. So I don't know, but yeah, we'll see. I'm I happy to do either. either. But yeah, we'll let you know what we think because the honestly the most common question I get asked like whilst I'm posting these stories is like, oh, where do you recommend to go? Where do you recommend to go? Yeah. So watch this vlog and we can give you our recommendations and what we thought about where we went. Yeah. So this is Amiravigli, probably butchering the name, but it's the most beautiful place I went because um, it's not busy at all and it just has, in my opinion, the best views without all the people and the busyness. Um, the restaurant we went to is called Five Senses. It was great, honestly the most gorgeous place, but the manager or the owner, I don't really know, was kind of rude to us and it kind of ruined it a little bit, but we had a great time anyway. The food was really good, not gonna be bitter. Um, this was a crab salad, then we had the ceviche, we had more pasta. Honestly, this is the best pasta, get this one. It was a stuffed pasta, I don't know what it's called, sorry, but honestly still dream about it. 
Then we had a delightful walk back. Look at these views, insane. It's our last day, it's our last morning. Our last breakfast has arrived. We're gonna sit out here and eat it. This has just been the best trip ever. I do not want to leave yet, I'm not ready to go back. Let me see what the weather's like in the UK. If it's raining, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> yes, 27 degrees and sunny in the UK, then 28, fucking buzzing. Oh, yes! 27 degrees and sunny in the UK, then 28. Fucking buzzing. One last hug in the room. Bye, room. I love this holiday so much.